Hey there, this is Alan from MindVisionMedia.net and uh, this is part two to backing up your WordPress files and or website, whichever. Um, and we were last in the first video. I showed you how to go inside your control panel on your server, your file manager, and to select all and to archive the files which will create a zip file, a backup of all of your content files in a zip folder. And uh, when I signed off on the last video, the process was still taking place. As you can see, the last time I backed up was on February 12th of this year, and the total size of the backup, including all of the content, um, folders, content, admin, plugins, everything, was pretty close to a gigabyte. It was 818.76 megabytes. A gigabyte is 1024 megabytes. And so the backup I did today, which was running when I signed off on the first backup video, um, has completed. It took a few minutes. And what we have is a 1.15 gigabyte file. And that includes everything. And that is a zip folder so it's actually larger than that and it was zipped down to 1.15 gigabytes so now what I'm gonna do is select that and choose download you should have similar options in your control panel or file manager on your host um, so basically that'll take a couple of minutes another thing that I do as I'm creating content on my site um, is well first let me discuss the plugins an easy way to make a list of your plugins is just select them all go to your plugins page and select all of your contents make sure they're highlighted and do control C or command C here on a Mac and what I do is I use Microsoft Word because Microsoft Word allows you to paste in web pages and frames and tables and images and stuff from a website so basically I pasted a copy of all of my plugins that I'm currently using so I have a list of what they not only what the plugin name is but what it is actually too so I can remember that um, I don't want to just have a list of names but um, that's another thing that I do to uh, create a copy or a backup list of all the, the uh, plugins that I am using on this particular site. So that's another aspect of your WordPress um, blog to consider or a website that uses plugins. And then also while I'm doing page writing or copywriting for my pages, um, that is um, quite another issue as I explained in the first video um, you don't necessarily see your content in the WordPress files that are created they're created in PHP and stored in a database uh, format so what I do as I'm writing content uh, for my page and again I'm using the responsive WordPress theme from theme ID but yours should be similar. Oh, I see our uh, download is ready. So basically what I will do, and that is pertaining to the zip file that I selected in my control manager, file manager on my host, which is iPower. You should have a similar option. So I selected it, chose download, and it took a few minutes, as you saw, to bring up the download window. And I'm going to save that file. It already has a predestined location and I'm going to ahead click save and now so that's working and that'll be working in the background for a while it's 1.2 gigabytes so we can get rid of that but that's the complete process of backing up all your content from the server side so that completes that aspect now back to what I was saying about your actual copy um, writing article writing blog writing any post that you write especially if they're as extensive as the ones I use or have created. Um, I select all command C or control C and I use notepad a lot and I keep that open on the side for various reasons. I use um, 
many, many, many programs open at the same time uh, to complete my work. Let's just open up a new one. And I'll just paste all of that actual text that I wrote that I took time to write. And I'll save that. Okay, I'll save that into a location so that I actually have my physical words. And I don't have to worry about trying to extract that out of some weird PHP file or database. So I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. But that's another redundancy as far as backing up your content. It only takes a few seconds when you're done writing your page and you have it the way you want and everything's Oh boy, look at there. It's always good to keep reviewing. By the way, I'm using Firefox and I've noticed something about their dictionary and spell check. It, it doesn't catch a lot of things, so I I do spell checks on everything and I keep finding that um, the default dictionary in Firefox doesn't catch everything, so you have to make sure uh, that your spelling and grammar and everything is correct. Um, just as a footnote. But anyway, like I said, select, copy all, control C, paste it into WordPad. That takes a couple of seconds and you have a physical copy of your text that you wrote and that will save you a ton of time in the event something does happen. And you know, we all hope that nothing ever does happen, but that's uh, just another way to back up your content and let's see that download is still going on let's see it's at hmm, 58 minutes remaining so that's quite a huge file once again it's 1.2 gigabytes that's a very very uh, huge amount of content that I'm backing up but I will have backups of my database backups of my um, WordPress content PHP and scripts and uh, admin folders as well as my content by using notepad a very simple and free program that comes with almost every computer or at least it should uh, I believe Mac has something similar but hey that's a way to copy and keep an uh, actual copy of your text that you wrote in case you want to go back and edit it maybe and then you just have to copy and paste it into a new page alright so I hope that it helps um, that completes the little tutorial part one and two on backing up your files. Talk to you soon. And don't forget to visit mindvisionmedia.net. Thanks.